Many Walden courses incorporate videos as learning resources for students, and so you might find that you'd like to use information from a video found in your course in your writing. To do so, you'll start in the reference entry by listing Walden University in the author element with the notation of producer in parentheses. You'll follow with the publication year, if provided. If no year is provided, use N period D period for no date. Then follow with the title in sentence case and italicized, including the notation video in brackets. Complete the entry with the publication element, which includes the notation Walden University Blackboard and then the URL to the login page for the classroom. When citing the source in the body of my paper, I'll pull the author and date element, Walden University 2019. If I'm quoting the source, I need to provide my reader a timestamp to where they can find the quotation. So here I've added a timestamp of 2 minutes and 12 seconds. This is used in place of page or paragraph numbers when citing a quotation since a video doesn't have page or paragraph numbers. The final element of citing a video is that the video itself might have speakers within it that you want to also give credit. Maybe the video is an interview of multiple professionals in your field and you know the speaker's name. So the question is, how do we credit that speaker of the video if the speaker doesn't appear in the reference entry? The answer is that we'll name the speaker as part of the context of the sentence, but we won't list the speaker in the citation or reference entry itself. Here's an example. In the course, Jones, Walden University 2019, advised students to read critically. In this example, we have named and given credit to the speaker while still maintaining our citation. The key here is to give the speaker's name as part of the context of the sentence. And that's it. Now you're ready to cite course videos in your writing.